Scorpio. Hi guys, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is your love reading. This is your couple's love reading. Okay, we're going to look into the current energy between you and a love interest. We're going to see how you feel about the connection, how they feel, what happened in the past between the two of you, um, what is the potential outcome, and of course, as always, I'm going to pull you some advice. Um, keep in mind the roles can flip. I could be reading the Scorpio side and it may sound like your love interest. Just flip it. Take it how it resonates, okay? Apply it where it should be. Alright, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe, Source, what messages of love do you have for Scorpio and their love interest? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, freedom, clarity, and peace of mind. This is for Scorpio in love. This is a couple's love reading. Let's card spread. What messages do you have for Scorpio in their love interest? This is for Scorpio. I'm a shuffler, you guys. <laughs> Alright, last, last shuffle. Okay. Mm, Scorpio at the bottom, but that's, you know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, the current energy between you and a love interest, Scorpio, is the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. 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 Okay, how do you feel about this connection? The chariot is how you feel. How your love interest feels about this connection. The queen of pentacles. What happened in the past between the two of you? The seven of pentacles. Yeah, the seven of pentacles happened. Hmm. Alright, what is the potential outcome? The nine of pentacles. Okay, and your advice is... Oh snap, the nine of swords. The nine of swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have the Queen of Wands. Alright, Queen of Wands. Whoa. So I do see. Hmm. It's Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have Taurus here. The chariot is Cancerian, so Cancer. Ten of Pentacles. Are you in a long-term committed relationship with somebody? Like you've been, it's been like a, it's been a very long-term type of relationship. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, because that's the current energy. So let's see. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Wow. Oh. Ten of Wands. So, yeah, I would say you were in a long-term relationship with someone, and that relationship is heavy. Heavy, heavy. You got so heavy, baby. It's heavy. It's it, it's weighing on you. It's, bur it's burdensome. Why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? Okay, Page of Pentacles could have been some type of communication. Maybe someone called the other, text the other. Why the Page of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay. Cancer. That's a Cancer card. That could be your card. I look at Queen of Cups as all the water signs. Airy, um... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but that is specifically a Cancer card. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, the Tower and the Reverse. So, something was not working. Something between the two of you was not working, and it is weighing heavy on you. Um, you guys could have communicated. You could have talked. Like, you talked to this person, communicated something. Um, maybe even started something new, because the pages are the start of something, like beginnings. And I feel like 
you started something with this person but it did not work out why the tower in the reverse okay hold on eight of wands yeah i think you guys you have you guys communicated two of wands the chariot it's like whatever you guys talked about it's like now you're really just like i need to move on look look at you looking at you know like the you're at this crossroads like i need to really just move on like move in a more positive direction i don't i don't know i don't think that went well that communication went very well what is the energy of this ten of pentacles what is the energy of the ten of pentacles Oh, Eight of Pentacles reversed. So this could either be someone's not doing their work, doing what they're supposed to do. Or this could mean, like, it's been too long. Like, it's been going on far, it's gone far enough. This relationship probably has gone on longer than it should. Like, maybe you've been at the Ten of Wands for years, right? And now it's time to really get on your chariot and head out because it's not working. Just I see that very clearly. Um, unless something changes, but the way you guys are operating with each other is not working. Just saying. So let's see how you, that's the current energy. There was talk and I don't know, I guess I feel like that communication didn't go well. Because now you're just like, all right, I need to move on. Like, I, I kind of see that here. Like, now, you're not, you haven't quite, like, you haven't exactly decided because you're still at this crossroads. Like, maybe you're just, like, hanging on by a smidge. But I do see you're very burdened and you're really considering just leaving this alone. All right, so you have the cherry for how you feel. Again, I think you're trying to move on. I, that's what I think. I think you're trying to move on, uh, Scorpio. Let's see. Why is the chariot here? Okay. The Hierophant. That's what I'm saying. You could have been married to this person. I mean, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Committed. You are definitely in a commitment. Marriage, commitment with them. And I feel the way you feel. The, the way you feel is like, I want to move on. Like, I need to progress forward. I need to, like, go in a better direction. Like, you could even feel like you need to, like, hurry up and do it. Right? Why the why the Hierophant? 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 Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant? Why the Hierophant, please? Okay. Temperance? Okay. Okay. Well, we're not taking those. Okay. Temperance, Sagittarius, energy. You're trying to be patient with something? Is that what it is? Or you're trying to leave in a more balanced way? Why the temperance here? Hmm. Nine of Wands with the Eight of Swords. I don't know. Is it like you don't want to feel powerless or stuck? Is that, it's like I'm going to just do this slowly because I don't want to get stuck in something. I don't want to get, I don't know. Why the Eight of Swords? The Page of Wands reverse. Uh, Ace of Cups reverse. Okay. Um, I don't know if you worry about the Page of Wands in the reverse. I'll show you. These came out reverse. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups in the reverse is all about like some upsetting news. Okay. But it can also mean you're, it could also represent someone being hesitant. So. With the Page of Wands in the reverse. Mm. 
I don't know. I, I feel like you don't really know what to do. Like you lack some direction. Like what is life going to be like after this? Like I think you don't want to be stuck in this feeling of I don't know what to do. I mean, well, you're kind of at a lack now, like in the relationship. So yeah, like if I leave this now, like what direction am I? I mean, it doesn't get any clearer the longer you're in the relationship. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, like you feel like there will be um maybe you'll be I don't know. Like maybe you feel like you'll you'll move too fast. I'm getting that too. Like I don't want to just move too fast. So that's why you're hesitant. Like you don't it's almost like I mean, when I think of someone who's hesitant to do something, it's like a fear of making the bad of a bad decision like am I making the right decision by leaving this relationship what is the energy of the chariot what is the energy of the chariot yeah that might that's a big concern of yours I feel oh the six of wands with the high priestess is it that you want to move on you want to have this victory but like like you don't want to talk right like you kind of want to be left a mystery like you don't want this person to know anything about where you are maybe I got that with Aquarius Aquarius man let me tell you <laughs> I mean I'm kind of getting this with the with the high priestess because she is mysterious and she is a holder of secrets it's like I you want to move on you want things to be victorious right you want to accomplish something but with this here I don't think that's using your intuition I think that's you wanting to be out of this person's uh I guess eyesight like they can't see what you're doing they don't know what's going on in your life that's what I'm getting for how you feel yeah I'm getting hesitant because I don't know if you feel I just I don't know if this is you feel like you will be set back or if you just don't know what like have any direction or feel like you're doing, you're moving too fast. You're doing this out of haste. Okay, so let's see how your love interests feel. They have the Queen of Pentacles. That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. That could even be a Sagittarius. Um, you could be dealing with this person. <clears throat> let's see. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? Male or female? It doesn't have to be a female. The Justice. Okay. So. You want to get out of this, but they want to fix it. They want to, the justice card. Why is the justice here? They want to make it work. They want to, yeah, they want to make it work. Do the right thing. Why is the justice here? The king of wands in the reverse. Now, okay, uh, let me clarify that. King of wands, why is the queen, why is the king of wands in the reverse? Okay, um... I mean, I don't know if this is you or them. Like, they just feel like you guys have been through a lot, right? You guys have been through so much. The devil reverse, and they want to release this. Um, like, if there's resistance between the two of you, if there's, you know, if you guys are miserable, like, they want to fix it. I mean, they want to get out of it. They want to let that go. Because with the king of wands reverse, that's like, you guys argue, you know, that's all about fighting. That's all like going through so much. Why the, why the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Why is, it, why is the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Okay, dang. The Fool, yeah, the, okay. They want to take a leap of faith. They're like, no, I want to make it work. I want to try. I want to just give it a try. Because that's what I get with the Fool. Like, okay, I'm just going to step out on faith on this. Even though you guys, it looked like you just had a conversation and now I don't think you liked it, but they're like, no, 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 we could still do it. We could still try. What's the energy of the queen of pentacles? What is the energy of this queen of pentacles? Let's see where their head is. What is the energy of this queen of pentacles? Whoa. Okay. Three of, yeah, they do. <laughs> Three of cups. They want to reunite. 
They want to reunite. Why the Three of Cups? The Chariot. So, I don't know. I think your Chariot is different than theirs. Because the energy of your Chariot is to move on. The energy of their Chariot is to move in a more positive direction. With the Three of Cups there. Why the Chariot? That's too many. Dang, that's way too many. Okay, hold on. Let me ask again. Why is a cherry here for Scorpio's love interest? Okay, thank you. Four of Swords. They want to move in a positive direction. If that's not what I kind of want to, let me see. What is the energy of the Three of Cups? What is the energy of that Three of Cups? Before I start, you know, really telling you what I think. What, what is the energy of that Three of Cups? What is the energy of the Three of Cups? Okay. <sighs> Offering a cup. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Offering love. Yeah, I think this is, I think that is reuniting. Moving in a more positive direction. Um, they could be just meditating on this, thinking about it. Kind of just, you know, just I taking a step back, I feel. But they don't, I don't think they feel like it'll happen. No, you know what? This could be them... It's like this, okay, scratch that. Okay, I, I kind of see, like they may be, want, they may want to reunite. I kind of get the energy there, but this could also be, they want something that's fair and balanced. I don't know that it's, it doesn't, I don't know if it's necessarily has to be with you. What is the energy of the justice card? The hermit in reverse. The hermit in the reverse is someone who's immature. They they move foolishly. This is them. This is something romantic. Them searching for something. This person could want to date date other people. I, I kind of get that too. Because here it's like this is new love. Not Scorpio love, right? This is new love. And they're kind of... Um, I don't know there's something here they're building some sort of stamina with new love like moving toward new love because I do have the cherry I was like that cherry it feels different but if I read this as a, as re, a reunion then that cherry it is different from yours but this with that when I clarified when I clarified this three of cups because I'm like okay that could be wanting to reunite and get together with you but that could also be a third party that could also be going out dating and I think it is. I think that is them kind of wanting to go date. They want to do both. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they want to do both. Because here, yeah. Like, they want to go do something with the Justice card. Something that's fair. I think this is all about them. Something that's fair. And I say that now because the King of Pentacles in the reverse is egotistical. And so this person could want to feed their own ego. I mean... Sorry, Spirit is giving me this. I didn't see that at first, but like now I see it. And they're and they 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 are hesitant to take a leap of faith with you, I feel. Like they I get that they kind of want to go out and date. Here is like they're walking away. But they are coming off as a knight of cups. I mean, that could be you, like walking away from you. I mean. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of getting a lot of different stories here. So just take what resonates with you because I think it's everything I'm saying. It could be different for, for whoever's watching, whatever Scorpio or cross watcher is watching this. Take it how it applies. But I feel like some of you, this person does want to reunite and move in a positive direction. But then on the other, on the flip side, I get somebody 
who is very egotistical and they're like I don't know if I want to take a leap of faith there because I kind of want to go date and see what else is out there you know what I'm saying like I, I kind of want to just move on like you know with this nine of wands that's like persistent and, and, and building up stamina you know moving toward new love like they're out on the they're on the prowl like they're out there hunting because I even get this with the eight of cups like they're searching What else can you tell us about this Queen of Pentacles? The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Uh what why? <laughs> why the Seven of Swords in the reverse? Did they confess something to you? The Sun. That's a Leo. Why the Sun card? Oh man. Like, did they confess that they are they are happy with separating? Like, you know, separating might be better for us because xyz you know is that is 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 did they do that i'm just curious yeah i'm curious to know because i see so many different things but when i ask for more information this makes sense like this fits more of the story of this person wanting to go out and date and move on but you want to move on too like i kind of get that too either i mean but somebody, one of you, wants to make it work. Like, why are you still having these conversations about making it work? And then it doesn't work. Like, the conversation doesn't go the way you want. All right. Let's move on. Because <laughs> um, that's interesting. Sorry, I, I, got, I got stumped for a second. I'm like, no, I feel like there's something more to this. Like, from what I see, some of the cards together don't add up. And I think this person is wanting to go in there uh go out and date other people and they're hesitant to take this leap of faith with you because i feel like whatever you guys talked about didn't go well all right seven of pentacles happened in the past why the seven of pentacles oh that's too many oh spirit can we get fewer cards please Let me shuffle these why the seven of pentacles here the Seven of Pentacles is someone waiting and watching. Okay, the Four of Wands. Someone was or reevaluating the Four of Wands. So this home, you guys had to this union. Somebody was reevaluating it. Why the Four of Wands? Okay. Why the Four? Okay, hold on. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Tower. Okay, that's you, Scorpio. The Tower. But I think that's representing your relationship. Nine of Swords. Seven. Okay, reevaluating. Or someone could have just put, been putting in the effort with this union, but the foundation crumbled. Like, the, the foundation was not good. And that caused a lot of stress and anxiety and worry. Why the Nine of Swords? Like, I, I, I feel like this foundation didn't even start off good. <clears throat> okay, the Two of Swords reverse. That's like taking the blinders off. Seeing something for what it really is. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? Why is the Two of Swords in the reverse? Removing the blinders. That's good. Okay, Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Maybe there was a fear that someone was cheating. Because this is pessimism. Expecting the worst. It's expecting someone to do something behind your back. Cheat. Be sneaky. Lie. Be deceptive. Something. Um, why the Seven of Swords? And this is the past. In the past. So you guys had a lack of trust. Oh man, so something failed. The, I think this relationship just seemed doomed from the beginning. Eight of Swords, like the foundation, I mean. Like it just wasn't built on something solid. You know what I'm saying? Like it could have started off with lies, deception, sneaky behavior. You know, which caused things to fail. What's the energy of the Seven of Pentacles? The Five of Swords, that's what I'm saying. I just don't think you guys ever was really winning in this relationship. Okay, the Five of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. 
Like there's defeat here, like there's a lack of victory here with this connection. This is your family life, this is your marriage, your home. This is all of that and the foundation is not good. And I feel like somebody started to see the truth, start to see it for what it really is and started evaluating it, re-evaluating it, I think. Okay, so what's going to happen with this relationship? The potential outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's going to be single. Somebody's going to be independent, doing their own thing. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to make it. Uh-oh, that was the lovers in the reverse. Separation, oh man, the wheel... In the reverse, yeah, that's like something, that's like an interruption. That could even be an outside interruption, outside influence. Why this relationship broke up? Why is the wheel reversed? The queen of swords, someone was juggling with whether they should fix this or not, whether they should do the right thing or not, or somebody will be doing that. I think someone is juggling i i kind of feel like it's you scorpio because you were at a crossroads i feel like you were the one at the crossroads like you know if i should just like not even try anymore because it wasn't going that conversation whatever communication you had did not go the way you wanted it to go and so now i feel like you're juggling like if i should do the right thing well i don't know if your person told you how they feel they could have said i think it's best you know we explore other options and see what else is out there i don't know if that's what they said but that was the energy i, I, I saw in the cards but there's a separation like i don't think you guys are going to stay together maybe you have separated and then you were you kind of came back together to have a conversation about a, a ace of I'm um, sorry what is it page of pentacles starting again like starting something new but uh uh it's just you, the, the it's hard to change if you build a house on cement that's not paved smoothly okay it's hard to smooth out the, the, the cement from, I mean, while the house is still there. You have to tear the entire house down and then repave and then rebuild. I don't think I see that here. Like, I don't see the desire here. I don't see the ability to even do that. It, that, that will take a lot of work. And you were already burdened. Already burdened. You were already at a 10 of wands. And so that would just really, that could kill you. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Is it worth it? And I think that's why you're at a two of wands. Like, is this worth it? Like, should, is this worth me putting any more energy into this? Because I don't, I just, I personally don't see it. And we're, we're going to see. The nine of swords is your advice. Okay, so you are stressing, worried, having anxiety. You're thinking about this a lot. And again, I, I was telling people when I see the nine of swords, this is something you're thinking about every day. Every single day you're thinking about this. Why the Nine of Swords for Scorpio's advice? Okay. I saw the, the tower was trying to come out, just so you know. What, what is, why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay. Okay, let me ask again, because I don't, I don't know if that's trying to reverse or what. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay, the moon. The moon is here. There's a fear, right? Why is the moon here? Okay, hermit mode. What else? Knight of Cups. I mean, again, I think this is you, Scorpio. Like, like there's something here about offering your cup. Like, you... I think you're just trying to see if it's worth it or not. And I like that you're in hermit mode because this is you tapping into your wisdom. You're con being conscious of it because that could have been you with the two of swords in reverse. It's like now I see things for what they really are. I can see this relationship. Is it worth it? And you probably love this person, which is why you're even considering it. 
but I don't know about them. Like, they seem to be kind of like, you know, uh, uh, maybe we should see other people. Might be best. Why the Knight of Cups? And I don't think you were really trying to hear that. Yeah, like, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's like offering your cup to something that is dull. It's out. It's pretty much dead. The ten reverse is like something that's just dead. And it's not going to bring about a, a fortune for you. It's going to be more of a misfortune if you keep trying to offer a cup to something. You know, just to think about that foundation. Unless you tear the whole thing down and repave the cement, the ground level... Like you're, you're going to always have this house built on this rocky cement that is, is not, it's not stable. Okay. Why the 10 of pentacles reverse? Okay. Why the seven of pentacles? Why the seven of pentacles? Yeah, I think it's time for you to heal. I think it's time for you to work on your heartbreak. Stand your ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I mean, I get, look, I have the eight of pentacles with the three of swords. If you're heartbroken, if you have some emotional trauma from this relationship, I think you should work on this. And that seven of swords is showing me, um that you know don't like don't back down from this i think it's time to really focus on yourself and heal your heartbreak i wouldn't personally i wouldn't be trying to make it work with this person and me as a reader is because i see the foundation you know what i'm saying i see how unstable it is i see how this person feels about even making it work if you i'm like if you don't want to make it work with me i'm not going to try to make it work I would just take my losses and, you know, go find somebody who can really build a solid foundation with me and who's going to want to be with me and want to make it work. This is, should not be a, an unrequited situation. Like, you should have somebody in your life who wants to be with you. And you know they want to be with you. It's like, I know my person loves me. I know they respect me. I know. He's like, you want to have that knowing. Not like, you know, is it worth it? Always questioning, always wondering, always having these conversations. And they never go the way you want. And so it's like, listen, we're just blowing hot air and, and wasting each other's time. What's the energy of the Nine of Swords? The Five of Cups in the reverse. Scorpio, it is time to release the past. Out. Get out of there. It's time to let go. The Five of Cups is releasing the past just accepting that this is just what it is and there's nothing anybody can do about it it's time to go all right guys don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys soon Mwah. this is